the bottom line to what's happening in Iraq currently is we see this divide and conquer strategy that was mapped out in the 1980s. It was titled A Strategy for Israel in the 1980s, and it was written by the Likudnik, Israeli Likudnik Oda Janon. And that's what the War for Israel agenda in Iraq, which uh, the neoconservatives in America would like to expand to Syria and Iran as well. That's what this is all based on, a, a clean break um, strategy that they, they had written that was, uh, you know, the Jewish Institute for National Security Affairs, Jinza, the Jinza crowd, as Colin Powell said, were, was in control of the Pentagon under Dick Cheney uh, and in the George W. Bush administration. And they had wanted to take down uh, the enemies of Israel to cut off any support for the Palestinians, Hamas, of course, and the Hezbollah in Lebanon. So that Iraq has basically fallen apart. You had the neocon mouthpiece, uh, Senator John McCain, who recently was on Channel 4 uh, television, calling for uh, bombing the bombing of Syria. And, of course, that's the rest of that clean break, uh, that neoconservative clean break war for Israel agenda. And he, won, and he basically admitted on, on ITN, again, Channel 4 in the U.K., they did an interview with him in Washington, D.C., and he went on to say that it was all about uh, going after Iran. And that, you know, he couldn't be more direct than that. And he's also saying that we should stay in, in the Afghanistan quagmire as well. So uh, he was also the one that uh, touted the neoconservative-inspired uh, Iraq surge, saying it was so successful when he ran for president back in 2008. Well, we can clearly see that uh, Ron Paul was, was the one who was actually accurate when he was saying that that surge would, would not work. And it's clearly it has not worked. It's not successful, as John McCain kept on saying. Um, he touted it, that it was such a successful. Um, you know, uh, venture. And what we're seeing here is uh, it was supposed to bring about stability in Iraq after U.S. troops departed, and it most certainly has not. So it's an utter failure, and Iraq is only going to get worse. But on the other side of the token, it's actually a success for the neoconservatives. Uh, and, and what they had pushed for with their clean break, a war for Israel agenda that was based on, as I mentioned here prior, Oda Ginon's a strategy for Israel in the 1980s, and that was a divide-and-conquer uh, strategy having sectarian and ethnic uh, strife, and they're trying to do that in Iran with the, with the terrorist groups that uh, have been supported not only by the CIA, apparently, but also by the Israeli Mossad. And that n hardly ever made the news here in America that they were supposedly and allegedly and, and, and apparently in Pakistan, uh, supporting terrorist operations inside Iran. Now, these are acts of war to include the sanctions that are being pushed for against Iran by the Israel lobby, not only in America, but also in Europe with the, the Transatlantic Institute. Uh, they're pressuring the EU to pass sanctions against Iran. I think they had a lot to do with uh, the, the passing of the SWIFT, what, what SWIFT did recently by with electronic banking, preventing that. So Iran's being backed into a corner, and that's what these uh, Zionists are basically trying to do. They're trying to provide Iran into a response which was, was which actually could result in war so we have to be very careful and uh, like we see uh, they told us that uh, you know the same neoconservatives said that the surge had worked so well in Iraq well I think we see Iraq falling apart today but like I said that's exactly what they had their planned all along a divide and conquer and when the, the sectarian uh, Shia and Sunni are fighting each other uh, that's no threat to Israel from their perspective